The Vikings Museum in Egan has an impressive display just of Bud Grant. It's his history through artifacts, articles, and displays. It will forever be a sacred place now that Bud has passed. Head coach Bud Grant was the face of the Vikings during the team's glory years of the 1970s, going to four Super Bowls between 1970 and 1977. Four Super Bowl losses, but Bud always put that in perspective. The Super Bowl is one game, and that's what it should be. That's what makes it great. And you can't live on, you know, and say, well, we won a Super Bowl or we lost a Super Bowl. That can't define you find you or your life or your way you live. Even at 94 years old, when this interview took place, Bud was sharp as a tack. He will be remembered as the stoic leader of some of the greatest NFL teams of their time. The Hall of Fame head coach, who was the king of the North. He rarely smiled, but he did this time, hugging Jim Marshall after a big playoff win at the Old Met. His players loved him and honored him long after their playing days were over. Everybody respected Bud Grant. And if you didn't, your head wasn't on right. And it wasn't just his players who revered him. Viking ownership did as well. But having been a part of this organization and for as long as I have, and by the way, I still got an office. And I'm on the third floor, I'm not in the basement. <laughs> So I'm on the third floor out looking over the field. Bud's office is now on the top floor, and you can bet he will always keep a watchful eye on the franchise he led to greatness. Bud Grant was truly one of a kind.